Welcome to the Midlife Career Rebel, the podcast created for high achieving professional women to gain the clarity, confidence and courage they need to go after and get the life and career they want. I'm your host, Dr. Carol Parker Walsh, lawyer, social scientist, brand strategist, executive coach, entrepreneur, and midlife career rebel. Each week, you'll learn strategies to manage your mind, navigate the challenges of midlife, and take control of your career so you can thrive doing the work you love. So if you're ready to tear up that rule book and create your own, you're in the right place. And I can't wait to show you how. Hey Rebels, welcome back to season five of the Midlife Career Rebel podcast. I'm so excited about this season because guess what? It's our one year anniversary. We've been podcasting for a whole year now. And I just want to take a moment to thank you for listening. Thank you for your comments and your feedback and encouragement. It's really been amazing to hear. And it's been an incredible journey to be on with you for this year and hopefully for many years to come. So as we start the session, I thought I would talk about something that I've been experiencing recently and something I've noticed in other people as well. And I call it the fear of authenticity. Now, the fear of authenticity and the struggle of conformity, as I'm calling it, I think is really hovering around the land of imposter syndrome and people pleasing. But because it was something that I was experiencing, I really wanted to talk about it and see if other people could relate to it and to see if the conversation would be helpful in some way. Now, as I was getting ready to put the season of the podcast together and thinking about topics I wanted to talk about and get them ready and getting ready to hit record, I actually was panic stricken, right? I was totally struck with the inability to talk into the mic and to start the recording. And so I had to stop and do my own thought work around it and try to figure out really what was going on. And what I realized is that I got into my own head and I was so much more focused on what others were thinking about me. I was so consumed with you, my dear listener, in terms of what you would think about what I was sharing, whether or not it was important or relevant. And I was so focused on that that I forgot that I just needed to be real and authentic. It's most of the reason that people tell me they listen to me anyway. And so I got so consumed about doing something meaningful and creating something that mattered that I forgot to just lean into sharing what I think is relevant and important, right? As opposed to really leaning into me just authentically showing up and just being me and sharing what I think is really impactful and useful based on my experiences or experiences with clients, based on what I know about what's happening in the world of work today, that Uh, that may be relevant, that may be related to midlife women and professionals who are ready to step into careers they love, I was really struggling with what will people think. And so I thought, what a great topic for our very first episode of the season, right? To really unpack why it's so hard for us to stand in our authenticity, just to be ourselves, and why we feel such a push to not stand out and to make sure that we are fitting in and conforming. And it reminded me of the TEDx talk I did some years ago, which I mentioned before, about fit versus belonging. And it was the same premise of the conversation that we're having today, that we spend so much of our time trying to fit into places so that we're accepted, denying or stripping away all of what makes us authentically ourselves, so that we're somehow liked or that we're perceived to be part of the norm of society, you know, because we care about what other people think. We become so focused on that, that we don't lean into what makes us unique and amazing so that we can show up as we are and instead find those places and communities that will encourage us and accept us to be who we are. And even though I had that conversation years ago on that stage, it's as if I had it yesterday because it doesn't mean the struggle is over, right? It's always there with us. So If there are things that you want to go after or do, but you don't, or there are opportunities that you want to take advantage of, but pass on. And if you've been invited to give a presentation, to speak on stage, to co-author a book, to sit on a panel, to have a discussion and be the first one doing something that no one else has done before. If the first thing on your mind is, what will people think of me? 